lovers, I know BL series are popping like mushrooms left and right, and it is hard to choose or pick one that really suits your taste and what can trickle your interest. I have listened to your request and I trimmed down my list of the best BL series and couples to four. Since most of you requested this and asked for how BL series or what BL series and couples are the best. But before we start, I would like to ask you to hit the subscribe button plus the notification bell to keep you updated every time I upload new videos. And I would also greatly appreciate it a lot if you would give this video a big, big, big thumbs up. Let us proceed and talk about Hello Stranger, Hello Stranger the Movie, My Day, Game Boys, and Gaya Sa Pelikula. Let us talk about Game Boys first, which is the first ever BL series in the Philippines. What I can say about this series is that it is fast-faced and talks about young love and how sweet it is. This series is cuteness overload, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cuteness overload. Lahat naman ng BL series is all about acceptance of one's true preference and how it can be liberating once you express your love to the one who can actually make you feel happy or who can make you happy. Game Boys is a complete menu for people who are being in love. The ligawan portion kung saan one needs to be persistent and persuasive to get the person to love him back. Then in a relationship phase where both parties are beginning to know each other. The Silasan portion where understanding and knowing what's important is what people in a relationship must only think about. My second BO series is My Day. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah, pinagbigyan ko na kayo ha. This series is all about two guys falling in love from two different worlds. The cliche of the poor boy meets the rich boy and they fell in love. This series is more of a reality than what is idealistic. Real to the sense that sex and desire are shown. Removing the gender, we can say that this is a typical love story that can make you go down memory lane and how you feel when you and your partner are just starting and how the society can be unforgiving. Pagating sa relasyon na hindi balance ang status sa buhay. The intimate scenes are more realistic in same-sex relationship and how they express it to themselves. Ooh. <laughs> Gaya sa pelikula para sa akin is more of intellectual way of going through a relationship. If you wish to learn words and phrases and be more proficient in spoken conversation, this is the best BL na dapat pinapanood. Though they focus also in relationship issues and how hard it is to be in a relationship where society can be judgmental. This series will bring you to a situation na mag-iisip ka talaga whether how you will handle the relationship and not letting the relationship handle you o siyang magdadala sa'yo. I love the script and the plot of the story. Ian Pangilinan definitely showed his acting prowess and kung papaano niya nadala si Paolo who is a baguhan sa larangan ng pag-arte. Hello Stranger is all about the process of accepting and understanding yourself when love hits you hard. It is a cute and romantic series that will make you not look at the gender of the actors portraying and falling for each other. Kahit alam mo na parehong lalaki ang na-inlove sa isa't isa, hindi mo makikita ang gender dito. Ang makikita mo ay yung love and kilig sa dalawang tao na nagmamahalan. Yung fear of rejection, yung awkwardness ng pag-express ng feelings, Yung confusion kung dapat bang ituloy o express ang nararamdaman mo para sa isang tao. Yung nalilito ka kung ano ang pipiliin mo. Kung yung kung ano ba ang dapat o kung ano ang tama sa paningin ng society. For me, the best part of each series are the following. For Game Boy, yung how Gabriel or Gavriel pursued Cairo. Kung, kung papaano niya nilagawan si Cairo, yung young and innocence ng panliligaw at yung... Yung dinadaan sa pagbibiro para lang mamiss siya ni Cairo. Plus yung nagkiss sila with a plastic between them. It was really cute. <laughs> My day was of course as a mature person. I like how they expressed their feelings for each other intimately. Kitang kita mo yung reality ng relationship. Kung papaano nila gustong ma-express ang pagmamahal nila sa isa't isa. And how passionate they can get 
when given a chance na maramdaman nila ang isa't isa. Gaya sa pelikula, the best part for me ay yung pinakasimula kung saan they need to pretend as lovers para hindi lang umuwi si Vlad sa kanila just because hindi tanggap ng mom niya ang lifestyle niya. And how Carl play along just because he was struggling to prove his parents that he can be an independent young adult. Hello Stranger for me ay yung part where Xavier is trying to express his feelings to Miko through singing and just because of uncertainty, it turned out not the way we expect it to happen. Sa movie naman ay yung silasan part kung saan makita mo na Xavier is not giving up a fight para makuha ulit si Miko. And for the clincher of the stories, for me ang pinaka clincher ng Game Boys is when pinagharap-harap sila to finally decide if the relationship is worth fighting for. They had to hear pa from the people na pinagsisalosa nila ang real score para lang makapag-decide silang dalawa to finally give the relationship a shot. That loving someone needs trust not just sa taong mahal mo, kung hindi sa relationship nyo din. My day naman for me, eh hindi ko makitaan ng concrete na turning point kasi every part was just like a roller coaster. However, I can consider the part where Sky expressed all his disappointment and how he begged for Ace to fight for their relationship kahit madaming challenges which is normal lang din naman kahit sa mga straight heterosexual relationships. Gaya sa pelikula is when Carl finally had a talk with his uncle that unconditional love and acceptance is the best way to a happy life and loving Vlad, of course how in this generation people are more tolerating to same-sex relationship being hurt is part of loving and what is important is that you are not giving up on true love and you have to love yourself and free yourself before you can actually love someone for hello strangers naman was when Miko talked to his friends and he was given advice to finally admit the truth to savior how he truly feels which he did naman and that really opened the opportunity that validates their feelings for each other. For the movie naman, I think the clincher there is when Miko talked to Simon, his author idol, about the reality of being in denial and not forgiving Savior for hurting him by being indecisive on who to choose and kung papaano ipaglalaban ang totoong nararamdaman nito for Miko. I like the part when Simon said, the more you lie, the more you reveal the truth. That ang truth ay hindi dapat nilalabanan at hindi din dapat sinusukuan. Okay? The kissing scenes. Yes, I know uh, most of you really love the kissing scenes. Just like what I have said sa other video ko, Game Boy's first kissing scene is very cute. I don't like the end part kissing scene nila kasi the shot was really awful. Walang malinis na continuity, masyadong pinahaba, and hindi na ipakita yung innocence ng kanilang young love kiss. Makikita mo na lang yung galing nila sa pag-arte dahil they were both crying for finally expressing their feelings for each other na overwhelming ang emotions. My day for me is really passionate. Pang movie material ang kissing scene nila and I love the fireworks and kung papaano makikita na totohanan na halos ang halikan. Merong init na mararamdaman mo na gusto nila talaga yung scene. Plus, nauwi pa sa hot, passionate love scene. The shot was really awesome. Yung when they started to lock lips, the shot was really and totally an expression na matagal na nilang kinikimkim. Yun ang nakita ko. Gaya sa pelikula, medyo hindi ako na-impress sa execution that led to the first kissing. Pero... The kissing was really given time and emphasis. And ramdam mo yung intensity ng first kiss. I can also say that this can be considered as a clincher dahil it was where they finally accepted and not wanting to think anymore. And just let go of the emotions and feelings for each other. Sa second kiss naman nila, all I can see was all emotion. Yung hindi na nila talaga mapigil ang emotion nila and maayos na nadala ni Vlad ang pagkaka-execute ng kissing. Sa Hello Stranger naman, was all gulat. Eh, <laughs> no, hindi ganong klaseng gulat. It was really being hope na mangyari. And when it happened, it is all worth the wait. Tony gave the best shot sa kissing. You can actually feel the excitement to finally kiss the person you love. 
how he held Miko's head na parang ayaw niya tong pakawalan and after the lip locking may pahabol pa silang mm, yung smack o yung peck tapos meron pang lip licking na hindi mo makikita si Tony at si JC mismo kung hindi ang makikita mo ay eh, si Xavier and si Miko na walang qualms na malasahan ang laway nila oh by the way I have a bonus feature for you I have watched Meet Me Outside of Kaloy Ting Kungko and Janice Redido and Swap Test by Joy Paras. And if you want me to do a review about it, just put your comment in the comment section below. And let me say something about Meet Me Outside. Meet Me Outside is a six episode series that showcases two characters who are both trying to move on with their lives. James, who is an influencer, just got out of an open relationship and Dale has just moved on and is smitten by the influencer. It was a young adult flick, but not really an adult one that shows intimate scenes. If you have not moved on with Hello Strangers yet, you want to watch another BL series, this is a good follow-up. So there you go, BL lovers. I hope nasagot ko na ang mga tanong nyo on which BL story deserves to be called BL Story of the Year. And please don't forget to pick your BL King by watching this video. And tell me who deserves to be the BL King of the Philippines, okay? So once again, this is Scott and you are watching Mr. CMT. And if you haven't followed me on all my social media accounts yet, please do follow me now. And don't forget to subscribe, okay? Bye! And if you haven't followed me on my podcast yet, please do follow Mr. CMT Shares on Podcast on Anchor FM, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Breaker, and whatever podcast you are using.